Yes. We got. What do you got, Jeff? I was just saying, maybe you just gave me a good idea for a reality show. You think this will work? <laughs> I want to do a cross between To Catch a Predator mm. and Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader. <laughs> <laughs> First prize, you get to keep the fifth grader. <laughs> Who wouldn't watch that? <laughs> and if Anthony, if you narrated with that voice. Oh, that'd be great. <laughs> I'm in. One of the low moments for our radio show, one of our guys got caught in the house. Yep. What? That was a, oh, and it was made the broadcast, low moment. It what, what made the broadcast and everything. We got what? that clip. One of, the pedos, one of the pedos walked into the pedophile house that Chris Hansen has staked out with the cameras and everything. Oh, no. And he sits down, and, <laughs> and Chris Hansen comes out and gives him the spiel. And then the guy goes, I love you on O&A. <laughs> 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 and we're just sitting there like, oh, this, oh my God. this, this isn't that's good. <laughs> that's when you hear, like, all press is good press. That is not good <laughs> that's press. That's not no, good. No, that one <laughs> doesn't fall into that category. That's a rare exception <laughs> right. to the rule. Uh, that should be in the morning promotion. Ocean. That should be in the opening. It really should. I, I have to hear it now. I mean, right, that, we'll, we'll, get it. we'll get wherever you're They're right. finding it right now. Uh, Bill, a listener. Yeah, Bill in <laughs> Indiana. What's up, Bill? Oh, Bill. Hey, what's going on, guys? Hey. Hey, I was watching the news yesterday, and I just want to tell you guys how you've uh, completely made me an ass in front of my family. What? I'm sitting there watching the news, and uh, it comes on and says that an 80 year old man got hit by a tow truck. And when the hell did this happen? <laughs> <laughs> And my entire family looks at me like, what are you laughing at? And I'm just like, um, yeah. Well, yeah. Well, did he live? Is he okay? Uh, yeah, he was okay. He was in his car. But... <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you, sir. We got the clip that we were just referring to. Uh, Chris Hansen. All right, we'll start with this, I guess. We'll start from the beginning. Do you want some brownies? I made some. <laughs> Would you dose them? What? Did you dose them? No. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta have them for. Did you bring a sock? Can I just roll it up wherever? Yeah. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. Mm. He wants the decoy to smell the marijuana he brought. Smells good. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna go get something to drink. Oh, uh, okay. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. I just got it. It gets me every time. If that if that girl walks away and says, "I gotta go get something," what is happening in your mind? You're just like, "Oh no! Oh, here it comes. This isn't gonna be Alan Funt." Is this is this a TV <laughs> show over here? Or is this something that you guys set up? TV show. It's a TV show here where Chris Huge Hansen TV show. is a reporter. And it's called Catch a Pedo. Yeah, to yeah. Catch a Predator. And they set up a house with cameras all over the place. And they get on the web with this decoy yeah. that, that uh, uh, is acting like a 15-year-old girl or a 14-year-old girl. And they, they get invited to this house. They show up. And there's this decoy girl who's actually over 21, but she looks really young. Yeah. And she never gets close enough to the guy. She's always like, okay, come on in. And then the guy walks in, and he's a little, you know tentative there at the door and she goes okay just sit down right here i'm gonna go and change and i'll be right back and that just lets you know oh no this is bad no, uh no. i've been I, caught I, i'm, I'm gonna room. have to change my ways in this country i didn't know that show existed oh <laughs> jesus yeah <laughs> i've been living That's in popular. britain i've been fine <laughs> yeah isn't it weird jeff it, it's a very popular show this is what it would be like hanging out with someone that just woke up from a coma yeah <laughs> i can't believe you just, I can't believe you just Describe that show to somebody. How to describe uh, to catch it's, a predator? Oh, it's a huge show it's here. It's massive. Oh, right. People I, I, love I, I, watching I, 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 pedophiles get caught. Yeah, but uh, you got to know, and and the show's popular enough is now this, where these is guys spinoffs or anything. They know. Yeah, well, <laughs> Down syndrome people. How to catch a frisbee or something. <laughs> Kim Norton does all the casting of the young girl. <laughs> <laughs> she has to leave the room. Follow that bitch. I don't care yeah. where she. I'm, I'm going to get a drink. I'm going with you. Coming with you. <laughs> yeah. With Sorry. You. No, your next line should be, "I'm going home." Well, they try, but the cops the cops are waiting outside also. Yeah. So they come in, they talk to Chris Hansen. Well, they used to let him get away, right? They used to well, let him the run. Well, the first season, first I think season they let, let him, him go run. because they didn't know how it was going to turn out. But after that, they got involved with the cops. So uh, Chris Hansen goes, okay, well, you're free to go. And the guy goes like, oh, whew, gets up, walks out the door thinking, you know, da, 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 I could leave. And uh, he's just tackled by the cops. They come out of the bushes. So one was dressed like a tree once. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh, my God, the tree is attacking and arresting me. One guy got caught twice. Yeah. Yeah. yeah.
That's and the guy the got best. caught. I wonder, how did he get let out the first time? Don't they put these people in prison, or they just think... No, oh, for some reason, these guys just serve a couple of months. I they really don't get much for it, showing it up at these houses. But it destroys... It's almost school. worth it. I but did it, it's almost worth the risk. You don't, you don't get prison time, but it destroys Thanksgiving forever. I mean, oh, you really please. can't hang with your family. It's like, anymore. oh, look who's here. <laughs> oh, oh, children, children oh, my just... internet privileges have been taken away again. <laughs> yeah. but, uh, Jeffrey Ross is right. Oh. Uh, one guy got caught twice. So getting back to our Look guy. here. I make sure he doesn't f the turkey. <laughs> <laughs> Where are the kids? We set their table up on the roof. <laughs> 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 the kids' table. That <laughs> <laughs> barbed wire around it. <laughs> hey, but I got a residual check, Mom. We <laughs> get extra stuffing. Uh, uh, here. Yeah. Here we go. Drink. Ready to finish that up, okay? So she'd leave. You want something? It seems something about that line gets this man thinking. Perhaps he's heard it before. Perhaps he's yeah. heard it before. Perhaps he's heard it before. Ready for this? Here we go. Chris Hansen walks in, the guy that busts you. I want you to just keep your hands right where I can see him, okay? And I want you to sit right down there. No, keep your hands keep your hands right where I can see him. Uh -huh. What is this right here? Some pot. Some pot. And what was your <laughs> plan tonight? Come come down, you know. Come talk down. to her. Talk to her. Talk to her. You're Chris Hansen. I am. Have you seen this show? <laughs> you yeah. have seen it. I thought you were real funny on Opie and Anthony. <laughs> oh, you you listen to me on Opie and Anthony. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wow. Oh, that's a plug you don't really want. That's unbelievable. <laughs> wait, wait, what is hysterical? going through your mind when you think, I've just been caught as a pedophile? Hey, I loved you, Hunt Opie and Anthony. I love you, I, Anthony. I think we finally have made it there, Jeffrey Ross, right? <laughs> that, is, is this the making it? that is the most mainstream plug I've ever heard. <laughs> that that beats any, like, flip in the news when people <laughs> prank the news. I mean, that's uh, that is a part of America, the fabric <laughs> of America. Yeah. Great, isn't it? Chris, Kissing so Chris proud. Hansen's butt yeah. by plugging your show. Hey, you were great. Can I go, please? Here, hear that again. <laughs> you have seen it. I thought you were real funny on Opie and Anthony. <laughs> oh, you, you listened to me on Opie and Anthony. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, 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 something? I, yeah, I, I almost think in the back of my mind that I almost wanted this to happen. So you could plug the show? Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> yeah, you didn't want it to happen, believe me. I did this for their assault on the media contest. <laughs> yeah, did I win? <laughs> right, Hi, guys. O&A. O&A. O &A. O &A. <laughs> I'm not a kid toucher. I was just trying to win the grand prize. <laughs> XM seat warmer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then... Uh, I, I can't believe that. You haven't set that up. It's properly... He's fighting oh, yeah. with tears to say how much he likes you two. Uh, yeah. yeah, he's... Uh, I don't he's know what ever happened to this guy. Oh. This was last year. What's so funny about the brownies? Right when I saw the brownies, I knew. Because we goof on it all the time. Yeah. Like, uh, on this show, we goof on the brownies constantly, how he's got the brownies and the lemonade out there. Why don't you have a brownie? One of uh, the better moments of this show, Jeffrey Ross in the last year, Chris Hansen comes in, mm. and we had brownies and lemonade oh. <laughs> for the guy. <laughs> And then like Santa. And then oh yeah, we had Chris Hansen on, and and then he comes in, and Anthony does Chris Hansen and Chris Hansen and wouldn't break character. Yeah, I was like, why don't you take a seat over here? <laughs> and, and then we took clips of him reading the transcripts of these pedophiles <laughs> and played it like he was saying. So it. it's it's like it's like uh, uh, Chris Hansen, this? did you say this? And it's like I want to have sex with you. <laughs> I know you're a little young, but I'm into that. And it's Chris Hansen saying it, but he's reading the transcript like, now, Chris, that was you. And he's just laughing. Very, He was very uncomfortable, Yeah, but uh, went along with it. He I, must have a thing. He must have some weird inner. I mean, he, <laughs> you think? do that for a living, to bust people out like that. It's like no different than Ashton Kutcher or Punk. And he's got it, a weird He asked for thing. our, yeah, I think there's something going on with him, absolutely. He asked for our emails, and I'm like, eh, I have nothing to hide. I'm like, F, no, no way am I giving you an email. <laughs> yeah, he's like secret <laughs> 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 right. CIA. Because I think he really wanted our emails to just kind of do a little little searching to see if he could find anything. Yeah. I um, looked into a name wannabe Nazi 101. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Spitzer, you know, he goes after hooker rings. Yeah. He's, he's got some weird thing inside him. So maybe Chris Hansen's got You always weird... you always think that if somebody's really into something, like I'm... stopping something that they 
are kind of into it. And they want but, access to the materials, too. Yeah, like, yeah. Justifiable access to the materials. Like, can I see some of those police files? Yeah, yeah. Townsend me, said he I might was have to take this home with me. <laughs> I always found the Pete Townsend thing when he was, yeah, the research. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he was doing we research. research. And where's doctors. this book that he was going to put out? <laughs> or this film or something? It's been years. scientists writing books. What do we care about <laughs> yeah. a guitar guy? Pete Townsend. It, it worked, though. The guy never... Did any time or anything? Yeah. That thing mm. went away with that excuse. He's picking up young boys like it, guitars and it, windmilling it, it them. Didn't go away. <laughs> <laughs> Their arms and legs being untouched. <laughs> <laughs> he really did just get away with it, though, didn't he? Yeah, well, he did did. write a rock opera about that. I mean, well, he yeah, some he sort did. Of grounding for the excuse. True. Well, yeah, it, well yeah. then he had to come up with something. Like, oh crap! I got to do something with this. I'm doing research for a book that'll never see the light of day. Now I got to make a beyond, CD. Beyond, beyond blue balls. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the uh, blue ball wizard. Here's the rest of the brownie. <laughs> <laughs> here's the rest of the brownie clip. Who are you? I, I knew I was going to be running into you. I think this is the first time I'm, we've had brownies. I'm kind of chuckling about it just because you know I shouldn't. Have. So you think it's funny? No, no, it's funny. I, I mean, it, it's funny how dumb I, I'm really turning into. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great, nice use of the language. And it goes on and on. So there you go. Oh, uh, yeah. You think it's funny? Amazing, right? Do they ever have weapons on them or anything? Is ever going to be uh, one guy had weapons in the trunk of his car once, but they bring all kinds of stuff. Usually, they bring like Zima, some kind of uh, gaffer uh, type. Yes, yeah, some kind of uh, wine coolers for the youngster. Oh, yeah. uh, they bring condoms, uh, pot, sometimes coke. We can laugh all we want, but think back to when you were young. Sometimes that was the only way you could get drunk. <laughs> it's true. And right? I did it without the internet. I did it through through handwritten correspondence. <laughs> <laughs> I was posting all day. <laughs> when uh, yeah, when me and my brother were uh, kids, and and we used to have the babysitter come over, she would have her friends all come over, oh, and they were you know guys, girls, and they'd be effing and you know, drinking uh, my father's booze, and they wouldn't care. We'd be drinking. It's like seven years old, drunk, looking at <laughs> the naked chicks getting banged on the couch. Wow. Rocked. That has to rock. Yeah. I once Good masturbated stuff. while babysitting at someone's house and the parents came back. That was pretty horrific. <laughs> like the kids were asleep. Oh, okay. The kids were asleep. You scared uh, me. Uh, <laughs> I, I, you I were standing up. against the crib. Or, yeah. <laughs> you were hovering. I've got some on the little mobile over the <laughs> oh, God. I was on the couch downstairs. I didn't get a lot of alone time in my house. <laughs> Gunter was very vigil. <laughs> Gunter. <laughs> Gunter. One I, time I went, the first time I, I was 16, uh, I don't know what what words we use. What word do you use? Uh, just uh, taking care of yourself. Don't, not yeah, me, don't, not me. Her. I was doing oh. it to her. What was that word? Bad? Uh, wait, wait. My yeah. First time ever. All right, I see. You're doing something with a whatever. Yeah, you were you're taking doing. care of her, but uh, well, let's thing, say you my... wouldn't be able to juggle at the same time. Yeah, you know, like my first time sort of touching a woman's privates there, you know. <laughs> nah, now you just ruined it. That probably won't go. <laughs> you're, just, you, 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 you're just ruined it. You really? can't, you can't yeah. say, oh, it's you gotten, can't it's gotten, gotten bad, so Jeffrey. bad. I'm spending we, too much time in nightclubs. We, we were there. Yeah. You just got to have confidence that the listeners could figure out. Yeah, they'll figure it out. I'll be more careful. Well, now I don't know if we... Now save it for after the break, because then I think they might panic. And just we can reset. Hang on, we can I reset after the break. I don't know what he was talking about. No. <laughs> and we're holding I was picking a girl's nose, for crying out loud. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> like, you, know parents, you, parents, you know when you go bowling? All right, yeah. hold on, hold on. I, I like this approach. The first time you picked a girl's nose, what happened? <laughs> the... the, the, the her parents come home, so we break it all up. We, you know, in the middle of the picking of the nose. In the nose. middle of the picking of yeah. the nose. Yeah. You know, my first time ever, so it's like picking her nose. It's it's yeah. mi it's mind blowing, exciting. It's very yeah. very cool. Sure. Her parents come home. We're both sitting on the on the couch, just polite, polite, polite. And the dog runs over, who I've never met, and he's just licking, 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 <laughs> licking, 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 licking my finger. And they're like, "Oh, Ralphie loves you. He doesn't like any of oh, mine." <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> funny. Ralph, he loves you. Hey, uh, then he went over to the father's hand and started licking that. <laughs> <laughs> oh. And he licked his hand all the way up to the elbow. <laughs> now I'm dating the father. It's crazy. <laughs> when you were picking this girl's nose, did you blow your nose? No, it's just very innocent. Right. 15, oh, yeah. 16 year old. Oh, I got gotcha. Very innocent. Jeffrey Ross, the governor, is on Long Island. <laughs>